Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to mine and Gerard's review for the amazing Spider-Man 2. The movie, not the video game. The movie, not the video game. And uh, we're going to talk about it, we're going we're gonna to discuss it for a little while, and then we're going to... Do we? Do you want to do a little spoiler section at the end? Just a little one? Maybe. Okay. Alright, so... I'm just going to say this right now, spoil what? No, no spoiler. Well, okay. No, no, yeah, I don't yeah. care. Fine. All right, fine, no, this, fine. Is a big, this is a big spoiler. Go ahead, Gerard. No, no, no. We'll wait until later. No, this isn't. This is a. This no. This is a big one. Go ahead, Gerard. No, I, no, no, no. It's waiting okay. to the end. All right, fine. Okay, this is a big one. You, you, you guys probably even noticed this in the movie, so you'll you'll hear it later. Okay. So, anyway, Amazing Spider-Man Two, of course, follows Peter Parker once again, played by Andrew Garfield, as he fights more villains, including Electro, Rhino, and Green Goblin. Uh, is his name really the Green Goblin? The Goblin. I the Goblin. The Goblin. Okay, I don't think it was confirmed as Green Goblin. Now, I could explain the story, but to be honest, the story's a little hard to discuss. Cause Spider-Man uh, fights crime and saves the day. Uh, he, I don't think it's complex. There's some human drama in there with him and Gwen Stacy. Should they be together? Should they not? It's dangerous for Gwen. Blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of that. Uh, he meets Her father's with, ghost keeps haunting him. Yeah, his father's ghost. Uh, I mean, his father. Her father's <laughs> ghost, played by uh, Dennis Leary, is just like, hey, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Don't you I'm dare bring my you. daughter into this. I'll Don't, kill you. Yeah. And uh, he doesn't know if he should still stick with her. And, of course, he has to uh, fight crime and stuff, which includes Max, uh, played by uh, Jamie Foxx, who turns into Electro halfway through the movie. Uh, the big blue... Uh, Electric dude. Sparky guy. And, sparky, uh, sparky, boom, boom. <laughs> sparkles, as, uh, sparky. as Spider-Man calls him. Uh, and also, of course, uh, Norman. I mean, I'm sorry, Norman uh, Osborn. Norman Osborn's son, Harry Osborn, played by Dane DeHaan, uh, who James Franco approved. Who, of course, turns into the Goblin later on. That's not a spoiler. It's in the trailer, and everybody knows anyway. Um, <laughs> James Franco approved. Um, and long enough to realize Rhino, that. who's barely in the film, but you know he has a little bit in there. And the greatest Russian accent I've the, ever heard in my oh, entire life. Oh yeah, the best. Uh, it Paul, made the movie. Paul Giamatti, good job. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I mean, uh, come around! Yeah. I will kill you now. Well, I am a killer. <laughs> I am Russian, and I kill you. I think that's actually what it was. It was kind of like that, except it was more bad. So anyway, <laughs> it was it was more mine's too, better. All right. So anyway, um, the movie was a lot of fun. It was. It was, it was really really good. I really the action it. was good. The effects was good. Yeah. Just. Everything about this movie was good. Like, all right, well, not everything for me. There nah, was a no, couple, same here. There was a, there, <laughs> why'd you say everything was good? I bullshit a lot, okay? I, I lied. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Who's um, Spider-Man? I don't even know what I was watching. I thought I, thought I was, I was watching, watching Batman. I thought I was watching Captain America again. Uh, no. The, the one that seemed different. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see any of shields or uh, guys getting, <laughs> Or guys getting killed the fuck out by Captain America. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see any of that stuff. But... Uh, there was a couple problems. I'm going to say straight up, I think Max, played by Jamie Foxx again, before he was Electro, even though he was sympathetic because he was the guy that no one noticed, uh, he just wanted people to notice him, yeah. and no one noticed him, he was a little corny at times. It was, it was The prophetic sea of him was kind of corny indeed. Yeah. There was a couple corny moments. Uh, I mean, I, I still I, felt bad for the character, and I yeah. just thought I want to point out one more thi one thing. Yeah. This movie actually has me feeling for villains, like yeah. actually feel bad for them. And in, in a superhero vil a movie... That hasn't happened since Spider-Man 2. Yeah, you know, actually, even in Spider-Man 1, the amazing Spider-Man 1, uh, uh, the lizard, I mean, he did... Connor. He, I mean, Connor, yeah. Uh, he was... Uh he, he was just trying to get his arm back, that's all. And then he He's like, Yo, into a oh lizard. no, this escalated so badly so quickly. Oh man, my arm's good. Oh no, now I'm a lizard and I can't control myself. <laughs> so, I mean, you felt bad for him too, even though he killed, uh, what's his name? Uh, his, Gwen's father. Gwen's father. What was his name again? Captain uh, Stacy. Captain Stacy, yeah, there you go. I, I don't know his first name. I really don't uh, either. It doesn't matter. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Screw his name. We're going to call him Dylan. He's dead, doesn't matter. Uh, no, Dylan. Yeah, Dylan. So, anyway, no, uh, so anyway, I thought his character was a little corny. Even when he became Electro, there was a couple moments that were really corny, especially the part with the scientist oh, yeah. trying to study him. And there's a part I where honestly he... thought that was Otto Octavius for a second. Oh, the, yeah. It yeah. just goes up, I am Otto Octavius, and yeah. I'm going to study you. Sister yeah. Six! <laughs> Except it wasn't. But, um, um, 
But what I really didn't like about that was that there's a part where they have to like mug at each other. Like this part where Electro's like, oh, you're going to see what I can do. And then the doctor's like, mm, yes, what can you do? And, I, and, and Electro's like, mm, you're going to see right now. And then the doctor's like, mm, yes, you're going to see. I'm going to see. What, oh, you know what I, my, my name is? Oh, what's your name? I'm like, my, Electro. Name, my name's Electro. He's like, oh, yes. And then his glass breaks. I was like, oh, oh that's pretty good. And then it's like, like they put him back in the water of doom. <laughs> if, you, if you see that scene, it's so corny. It was. <laughs> It was corny. It was very corny. There's a lot of moments like that. There are. But um, I thought that that was my main problem. Another problem is that when they got to the goblin part, it was just like so quick. It was just like, Yeah, oh. it was like very, it was like Venom from Spider-Man 3. Oh, yeah. hey, the main villain's here. Oh, look, he's gone. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, Goblin was just like, okay. He was like, like the Electro part was like the last boss in, the, in yeah. the movie. Like that was the last fight scene. And then they were just like, oh, shit, we also have the goblin. We completely forgot about and it. And I, lo- I love how he like... <laughs> I like look, like Gwen Stacy was there to uh, help Spider Man out when he told her not to. Yeah. And he just looks at her, looks at Spider Man. Peter Parker. I'm like, damn, you're a better detective than Batman. <laughs> yeah. He's Which is like, not really saying a lot because if you've seen the Dark Knight movies, where's the trigger? Yeah. Where's Harvey Dent? <laughs> Where are the drugs going? <laughs> he didn't true. shout. He just looked. Oh, hey, that's Peter Parker. The world's best detective, Dark Knight. Uh, yeah. Or Batman, yeah, as as everybody calls him. I call him Dark Knight. He's just like, where is he? I don't know what the fuck Who's you said. man? <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's a part in the movie where the Goblin realizes that Spider Man and you know they, you have to see the film. I, yeah, I don't like, like he literally, you know, but it was like about. as soon as he showed up, looked at her, looked at him, instantly realized it. I'm like, yeah. Well, seriously, I mean, I mean d- to be fair, like Peter, he knew Peter knew Spider Man. He also knew that Peter was with Gwen. Yeah, I mean it makes sense, but I expected him to be like a, at least another minute or so. The guy was just like, oh hey, look at that. <laughs> And he also sounded exactly like Peter. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. It's not like he hides hey, his voice like Dark Knight. Or well, he can't... Knight. Well, I mean, <laughs> thank God he doesn't. But he came in... Can you imagine Andrew, Andrew Garfield, like, doing... <laughs> actually, we're getting a little, little tension here. <laughs> yeah, we are. But it doesn't matter. But, like, he did show... When he was talking to him, he did kind of have a gruff voice to yeah. kind of seal it. So it was kind of more believable. Yeah. But still. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's get back on track. But uh, that's really only my only two complaints with it. Everything else was either really fun... Uh, really dramatic, like really good dra- drama moments. Oh yeah, which we will discuss. At least the the only spoiler part I think we will really talk about is the the last big scene that everybody knows is really going to happen. Oh, like film. oh, you mean when Rhino attacks? Yeah, when Rhino attacks. <laughs> oh, we spoil. Sorry, uh, no. Um, the big one we'll talk about later. But uh, I think that one was really well done. Uh-huh. Uh, it's not that I you know I didn't shed no tears. You know, tears no fears. I didn't. As I say, <laughs> tears no feels. Tears no feels. Yeah, there you go. I said tears no fears, but I like te- tears no feels better. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, John. I gave you but, your own catchphrase. No fears, no tears. Uh, but uh, I thought everything was very well done for the most part. I, the action was awesome. Oh yeah. It was very well filmed. You could tell what the hell was going on, just like in Captain America. Yeah, and it was actually. It was like the action was good. He still has those quips, which everyone loves. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're corny as hell, but it's still fun. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, I thought they were really funny in the beginning. Oh yeah. Uh, the part where he's talking about t- talking to Rhino, he's like telling him to roll down the window and stuff. He's yeah. like, "Hey, my name's Spider Man." I thought that stuff was great. It, it felt like he was actually Spider Man, which yeah. in the first movie I had a problem because it was more of him being dramatic and stuff. Yeah, it it's like who killed Uncle Ben? Yeah, who's Uncle Ben? No one. <laughs> it was kind of like that. Yeah, it was him. Him being more dramatic here in the beginning. He's just like he's joking around with uh, villains which is exactly what he should do and I thought that was excellent yeah uh, I thought the writing was good especially when the, put- the plutonium was falling out and he was yeah. like trying to catch in the cartoon yeah. style yeah there's a part where he's trying to catch all these like pl- uh, vials of plutonium or whatever the hell he's like oh, oh gotta catch them all <laughs> Pokemon uh, and, then, and then the thing just, the last one falls off I was just like oh that thing's gonna fall <laughs> oh that's gonna fall he's like oh no <laughs> uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun again this review if you've seen the film you understand what we're talking about we're, we're mentioning a lot of things that people are like what the hell are you talking about if you, if you haven't seen the film but there's a lot of scenes that are just a lot of fun you definitely oh, yeah. should go see this film uh uh i did have a couple problems like i said i, I felt the movie was a little bit too long and at times i felt like it was a little too rushed if yeah that makes like any sense. yeah like the i uh, like towards the end of the fight i actually when the goblin showed up i, was, I just looked at my watch to see like how long it's actually been because i was like it's been long enough are we yeah. gonna have like this huge thing with the goblin oh no that's not the end okay radical it was literally la- last like 10 minutes he shows up I'm yeah like, oh, okay i mean the action is good with the goblin sure but and especially that big scene that everybody knows is coming but uh, i mean yeah unless you didn't read the comics then it might yeah. be a spoiler well no i didn't read the comics i knew it was gonna happen because everybody was like oh that's a big part in comics like 
uh, for the Spider-Man comics. That's yeah, like enough. a big, big part. Yeah, so. it's so big that it's not even a spoiler to people who haven't read the comics. Yeah, but still, it might be a spoiler. For yeah, like, we'll talk about it later. Like, my mom doesn't read the comics. She didn't know that was going to happen. And she saw the film, and she she thought it was a big surprise. Um, so anyway, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the film. I don't know what else to say. Uh, oh, the acting is great. Oh, we, yeah, we even uh, mentioned that. I love Andrew Garfield as yeah. Spider-Man. He's, oh, he came into his own in this film, definitely. Um, yeah, um, what else? Um, Paul uh, Giamatti's Russian accent. Yeah, uh, well, Guess it's more likely than Oscar and Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, Sorry, yeah. Leo. Sorry, Leo. No. Uh, to be fair, Paul Giamatti is a great actor. He is. And, I mean, we've been c- kidding. His Russian accent was not good. Um, we were not I, kidding at all. I, li- I liked it. No, we, oh, we, were, were, we were kidding. Yeah, we were kidding. <laughs> we were kidding. Don't kill us. We weren't kidding at all. Yeah, yeah. We loved it. No. Um, he's a great actor, but he... Uh, his accent just wasn't that great. They um, probably just he, made, was having, he was definitely having fun with his role. Though. Like, they gave him direction. He was like, yo, okay, so for the accent, think of the corniest Russian accent stereotype you can think of. And he's like, are you sure you want me to do that? And he's yes. Like, yes. You're going to be, the, you're gonna be in a guy known as the Rhino. Yeah. Who Might cares? as well make it as corny as hell. Your codename is Rhino. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay? Fair enough. You're Russian. And I'm pretty, wasn't Rhino actually Russian? I like, think so. Okay, so... I could I, be I, wrong. I, well, he, he seemed like every game I've played with him, he seems, he seems like he would be Russian. Russian, so it probably was Russian. A big bulky dude with a rhino costume. He just looks like he should be Russian. So anyway, uh, uh, that'll bear on a unicycle. Yeah, because every, like most of the comics, he's actually just a guy in a yeah. rhino suit, right? Yeah, he literally just runs down with horns on his head. Okay. Without the suit, he doesn't have the horns. Okay, so that's it. They made it realistic here, of course. They made him, like... A well, robot. Okay, kind of realistic. It was like Beast Wars. They put him in a robot that looked like a rhino, which I don't know why it looks like a rhino. <laughs> Just because, so they can call him rhino. I, that's the only reason why. That's the only reason. Anyway, um, there's a lot of really good action. There's a lot of great actors. I thought Emma Stone was great. Again. Oh, yeah, she was great. Uh, Dane DeHaan, who played uh, Harry Osborn, was great. I thought he was actually probably the best actor in the film. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I Literally, I just... I believed he was actually a character, not just like, like an actor so like yeah, yeah. those are good but this guy just blew it away yeah he blew it away I thought he was great I thought he was better than James Franco and no James one's Fra- better than James Franco <laughs> well, Get, J- take that back you whore <laughs> I'll take it back no I won't uh, James Franco had three movies to be Harry Osborn and I think uh, Dane DeHaan blew him away in like less than oh, half yeah. a movie and he's gonna be in the next movie yeah he's gonna be in the next movie not James Franco he's gone no no he's gone uh, they brought him to the shed and put a gun in his mouth and said you're done Lassie or, and then, and I'm then, sorry old yeller Lassie <laughs> wrong, wrong dog movie <laughs> Lassie no <laughs> no no Lassie doesn't die <laughs> uh, so anyway and then uh, like your time is coming last year. Oh, fuck, we screwed it up, and then you walk away. <laughs> so uh, there's a lot of great moments in this film. Uh, the special effects are amazing, blah, blah, blah. The action's great. Uh, the costume, else? I I love the costume. Yeah, the costume. It's like the original one, except it has the new, new Amazing Spider on the back instead of the original Spider. Yeah, the costume looks great. Uh, I really, really, really enjoyed um, uh, Electro in the film. Uh, not Max himself. I, I liked him. I, I didn't hate him. But whenever Electro was just there, even with his cheesy one-liners, yeah. I kind of liked his cheesy one-liners too. But whenever he's on screen, he's just staring. I was just like, that guy's a badass. Yeah, yeah like, he looks so much like a badass. Like the eels was like, yo, I'm going to make you a badass. Yeah, you're you're a nerd now. Don't worry, we're going to bite you up. And Happy birthday. Be, by the way, he does get bit by a bunch of electric eels. On his and, birthday. On his birthday. And that actually sucks a lot. That sucks a lot. Uh, he, and, and he gets turned into Electro. That's how he gets turned into to Electro, which is kind of corny, kind of comic booky too, which is good. Because, yeah, this is what we want. Yeah, it's a comic book, so. I gotta say yeah. one thing also, um, uh, back to the Spider-Man thing, I loved how, like, in this one, you actually see more interaction with people, with the actual people. Yeah. Like, say, last movie, and even the Tobey Maguire movies, like, you didn't see much interaction with people, like, they interacted and did the hero thing, but he actually, like, interacted with the civilians, actually made sure they were, like, they were coping with the situation yeah. and everything. There's, there's Motivating, of- he had motivation speeches, you're my eyes and ears, I need you out there, partner, and he just swings away. I'm his partner! He needs me! Yeah, that was the Max character. And then he became Electro. (laughs) And he became Electro, and he wants Spider-Man dead. For for a lame reason, to be fair. I want to be on TV. (laughs) I want to be on TV. Oh, Spider-Man took my TV time away, now I'm going to fuck him up. So... Uh, again, you have to watch the movie to understand (laughs) most of our references. Uh, But really, though, it was... Like, it was enjoyable to see him actually interact. Like, there was one scene where kids getting bullied, and they were 
just stomping the shit out of Sonic, experimenting with Spider-Man, shit, let's get him away, and actually, like, started talking to the kid, like, actually was super kind to him, I mean. Yeah. Like, I honestly like that. It's a yeah. small thing, but I love that part. Yeah, that was a really good part. That's, like, that's what makes Spider-Man. He yeah. does that. Not just, like, save the dead and throw one, like, cheesy one-liners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I thought the the music was really good in the film. The first scene where you see Spider-Man just, like, after the, the f- opening scene, which yes. I won't spoil what that is, but uh, after that, there's a part where he just starts swinging, and there's, like, music, and I was like, yeah. oh, man. It feels so good. <laughs> I was just like, oh, it feels so good around my everything. Around my whole my, body. Around my ear ho- lobes, girl. <laughs> which is my whole body. Which is my whole body. It, I mean, it was just, it was just, it was great. Uh, I really liked a lot of the stuff in this film. Again, the only problems I have is that sometimes it's a little corny. I mean, there's other moments that it was just like, okay, this is either cheesy or just kind of bad. Just yeah. little parts that are bad. But uh, also, I found it strange that in the trailers, there's a lot of scenes in the trailer that yes. don't happen in the movie. It's like, yo, Peter <laughs> Parker, Oscorp is spying on you. What? Why, 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 why is that? I, why is it not the question of the day? Oh, that's not in the movie. That's not in the movie. The part where uh, him and uh, uh, Gwen, Gwen Stacy... No, there's a part where him and Gwen Stacy are talking about like, oh, was your... Did your traffic thing have to do with something and blah blah blah? Like machine guns and RPGs. Yeah, yeah, that's different completely. I don't movie. see. Any, I didn't see any RPGs. Yeah, and no RPGs. There was no RPGs in there. Um, and there's a few other scenes in there that are completely different, um, or just not there at all. Yeah. Um. So eh, that's a little strange. There's a lot of scenes like that too. There's a whole part where. Uh, when he turns into the goblin, you just see him like like inside the building, just like chilling. Yeah. And that part's not in there too. I, I rewatch all the trailers just to see all the parts that aren't in the movie. And it's not and, there. And you saw this twice. But you know what? To be fair, that's kind of cool that they did that because there's so many trailers that you watch and you're like, okay, I just saw the whole fucking movie. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, and now they actually like, oh yeah, none of that's in the movie. Yeah, because I don't think in the trailer they ever tell you that in this movie Harry Osborn's actually sick and he's about to die. Uh, Norman Osborn already died. Yeah. So, uh, that's not good because really, he fucking sucked. Yeah, that, that really wasn't a spoiler either. Uh, but, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, Harry, uh, is about to die. They don't tell, I think they tell you that in the last trailer. That's it. I don't think I, I haven't seen anything that showed that. Okay, that's really strange. And that really isn't a big spoiler at all. That's just leading up to him becoming Green Goblin, which, or Goblin, I'm sorry. Which matter. everybody knows anyway. At this point, might as well call it Green Goblin. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't matter. So, anyway. I call it Raiden from Metal Gear Rising. Yeah. <laughs> that was my only problem. He, the Goblin looked a little too much like Metal, uh, like Raiden from Metal Gear Rising on a glider. Yeah, I and mean, he had the suit on, he had the, the, the white hair. Cool. The suit looked cool, but it's just like the white hair and everything looked too much like that. Yeah. I'm like, really? Well, I, w- I wouldn't even say he looked like Ryden. I would like, just say I, looked, I just call him that because of the hair. He looked like a he looked like a a, a twenty year old kid that aged rapidly, but he was still twenty years old. And the, they, he put heard, a battle suit on. The <laughs> curious like, case of Harry Osborn. Yeah, the curious case of Harry Osborn. That's good. Uh, <laughs> so uh, again, uh, I really have no big problems though. Yeah, uh, like a lot of people are, like saying that like. What they're doing with the villains and he's like, oh, that's the worst, biggest problem that could be. It's gonna be like Spider-Man Three. Oh, trust me, nothing's ever gonna be as bad as Spider-Man Three. No, Spider-Man Three was just like, oh, Sandman's there. He's kind of cool. Oh, he's gone now. Where and he was he Uncle go? Ben's killer, but he did it by accident. Yeah, that was so stupid. But <laughs> he did. He looked away and pulled the trigger. What? What? Ha- what kind of robber would do that? <laughs> I get real tensed up when someone calls my name and I shoot people. What? On accident. What Sandman? <laughs> uh, it's so stupid. Um, but the first, the here thir- I come, Peter. Oh, best buddy of mine. I'm sorry for all the crap I done and pulled you through. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a uh, how should end it? How did should end it? Yeah, but um, that's literally what the movie was. It's like my oh, little friends. Oh, Peter didn't kill my father. My father killed himself. We're best buddies again. Yeah, thanks, Butler. I lo- I like that in that video. He's like, you could have told me that. He's like, like you are so fired. <laughs> what? I thought this was the best time to tell you. I took a grenade to the face, dude. All right. If you don't know what we're talking about, go link look in the up description. How? No, I'm not doing that. How it should have ended. Spider-Man Three. Search that up on YouTube. It's so, good. It's a really good video. Um. Because it's all true. But uh, I didn't think uh, the villain problem was a problem yeah, at all. Yeah, well, they played it out pretty good. Like, they like, met, they told us that Rhino's barely going to be in it, which is fine. And then it transitions to the Sinister Six movie coming out. And I like that they didn't include, like, double or triple A uh, uh, villains in this. Like, 
you know, the third one had Venom, which is like the biggest villain yeah. in Spider-Man. Like, and Sandman, which I, I guess really not. He's kind of like a B-list villain. And also, who's the other one? Uh, Hobgoblin, who is a big villain. Uh, he's not even the Hobgoblin. He was just, no, in the, in the third one, he was the Hobgoblin. No, it was that. That's, but like, if you look it up, that's what it says. It says Hobgoblin. Really? Yeah, because uh, the Green Goblin was the thing in Spider-Man yeah, 1. Yeah, I remember? know. I know, but the Hobgoblin isn't Harry Osborn. Oh, okay. That's Ben Kingsley. It's Ben Kingsley, right? Ben no. Kingsley? The hell you t- that's Iron Man. That's Mandarin. Wait, are you okay? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Your movie's mixed up. I don't know, man. I'm not feeling well right now. That's Ben Kingsley. Yeah. No, that's Gandhi. Gerard, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he played Gandhi. <laughs> no, it's something It's something Kingsley that was a hot goblin. Hot, hot, hot goblin? Yeah, yeah that's, what, that's, who James, shit out. that's who James Franco played, hot goblin. Anyway, <laughs> so, so this movie, they so did anyway, everything right. Well, the thing is that Electro and, uh, who's Gob- the other? Uh, Rhino? No, yeah, Rhino are kind of like, not B-list, but not as known as uh, Venom and even yeah, like, whatever goblin he played. <laughs> yeah, they're, more, they're popular characters, but they're not as big as Venom or Carnage or stuff like that. So I had no problem that they, like, Electro had big screen time, but uh, Rhino wasn't really in it, which is fine because they already mentioned that he wasn't really going to be in it and also we know that this isn't the last movie so he's yeah, definitely might... not the last movie yeah but they Spider- set up this set, they set this up so fucking much yeah in spider-man 3 they said all right this is the last movie it's the last movie of the trilogy we're gonna end it right and Tommy they did is getting old so we can't have on spider-man <laughs> anymore <laughs> well they could just said spider-man's getting old like i don't know i don't know what what a big problem that is like can't spider-man just be like 25 or 30 evidently now? not okay um but anyway this, the third movie, I, I I infinitely like this new movie way more than the third movie. The third movie is just a. I infinitely like a lot of movies better than the third movie. Yeah, I've seen uh, I've seen some bad movies that I like better than Spider Man Three. So anyway, uh, so anyway, I'm just let's just get give our back, scores. Let's get back to the scores and then we'll do the spoiler thing. Okay, uh, what would you give it out of a ten or eight point five? Eight point five. Okay. Uh, I do my review scores a little differently. Out of the 40. And this is going to be my official review. It's out of the 40. This is gonna be, I'm so sorry for your shitty official review. It's okay, whatever. Uh, I'm going to give it a 36 out of a 40, which ends up being a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. I really thought it was great. Yeah, I, I was thinking maybe I might change it to 9 out of 10, but I have to put some thought into it. Okay. I'm not like I'm not gonna do what other reviews. So I was like, okay, I'm just coming from, back from Captain America, yeah. so I'm gonna have the ass to stand it. That's not fucking fair. Yeah, that's not fair. That's Captain, completely unfair. That's really unfair. Captain America was way better than this, but <laughs> it's like fucking. What would be a good comparison of this? Uh, the first Amazing Spider-Man. There you go. Because it's a Spider-Man movie, and it came out two years ago. Compare it to that. And it's, I, like, I, compa- I, it's like comparing that to the Avengers. I think this is better than Amazing Spider-Man one. But only because maybe Spider-Man 1 didn't have that big emotional impact at the end. Yeah. I mean, sure, Dennis Leary's character, uh, Captain Stacy, I liked him, but mm-hmm. it wasn't like, oh, no. <laughs> it wasn't a dramatic thing. It wasn't that dramatic. And, 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 and he's like, I must catch capture this Spider-Man. And sure. And, oh, uncle, shit, he's my girlfriend's boyfriend. Oh, now I'm dead. Wait, uh, did I just say my girlfriend's boyfriend? Right. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder he fucking died by the lizard. <laughs> girlfriend's boyfriend, damn. <laughs> His last words. <laughs> it's my girlfriend's boyfriend. Blech. Blech. <laughs> no, uh... My daughter's boyfriend. And who else died? Uncle Ben? Like, we already knew that was gonna happen. I mean, that's so. clear as day. Yeah, when it happened, I was like, yep, yeah, okay. Uh... <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Oh, anyway. God, bad. So, anyway, that was our review. We're going to get into some spoiler territory. So, leave if you don't want to get spoiled. If you haven't seen the movie yet, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you. Uh, go see it and then come back. Can I just say one thing? Because we're in the spoilers now. Um, like, I think the only spoilers have. You can actually tell it from. is because it's actually from the comics. Yeah. So, spoiler alert. This is the biggest one. And I apologize for this. Peter Parker, Spider Man. What? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. No. Why do you think they wanted the same room together? Get the fuck out of here. No. Wait, you think that Peter Parker at the end of the movie when Gwen Stacy died was cosplaying as, as Spider-Man? By the way, Gwen died. Uh, wait, who? Gwen Stacy. Oh. She no, died. I, I was, I, you blew me away with the Spider-Man thing. I don't even know who Gwen is anymore. You blew my mind so much, I don't even know who I am anymore. I got another one. I don't even one. know how to control my balance. I got another one. <laughs> Batman is Bruce Wayne. 
All right, end the fucking review. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, but yeah, here's a spoiler. Gwen Stacy actually dies. Yeah, and Gwen dies hard. Like, like I didn't even think they would show this. I thought it was gonna be like her falling and it shows it through his eyes and then it's just his dramatic face. Yeah. Next, you know, she's on the ground. Nope, boom, head Ooh. smacked right in that ground when yeah. he, she gets ca- caught by the web. I honestly think it was either her neck got snapped, like in the was- comics, which actually have a snapping sound to it. Yeah, or. Her head hitting the concrete. I think it was her head hitting the concrete. Regardless, she's fucking dead. Because, I mean, if they wanted to make it so that her neck snapped and everybody... Like, they wanted him... I mean, they wanted everybody to know that her neck snapped. They wouldn't have... They would would have made her, like, maybe a little... Above ground A little little more above ground. Yeah. I think her head just, like, just fucking hit the ground. Because you can also see, like, her, uh, her nose start bleeding, too. Oh, yeah. Uh... At the end, it was which, brutal. It was pretty brutal. I mean, it wasn't like R rated. I mean, I mean, but, uh, I know, but I, for, for a superhero movie, I was surprised they actually, yeah. like, for something like this, I did not expect them to kill her so hard. And even though I love Captain America, there's no real um, big emotional moment. There is one part with uh, Captain America and uh, finds out about and, Bucky. Yeah, but that's not even a spoiler. Everybody should know that's Bucky. But um, oh yeah, yeah, no one knows that Gwen <laughs> Stacy dies. Well, that that one's a little bit different. That's than, a little uh, bit different. But we're it's... in the spoiler territory for this movie, not Captain America. That's why I was saying that. But um, but there is a one part where he not only finds out about him at the end, where he's just like talking to him while uh, uh, Bucky's beating the shit out of him, <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, uh, I, I love you, I'm Bucky. Like, Boom! I love you, Bucky. <laughs> Oh, Al Bucky is hurt so it's bad. It's like, man, my arm's tied. Anyone want to take over? <laughs> so, Where's my stunt double? <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's no emotional part like that in Captain America, but I think Captain America is definitely a better movie. But uh, there is a big emotional moment, like I said, with Gwen. And I really like the ending, too, where he's like talking to the kid that he saved earlier from the bullies. Yeah, the kid's like standing up to Rhino, and yeah. Rhino's like, no, no, I want to see this now. I'm actually curious how this would turn out. Oh, Spider-Man's here! I really like that Spider-Man called that kid Spider-Man. I, yeah. I thought that was really good. Hey, Sp- Spider-Man. Hey, Spider-Man. Fist bump the other Spider-Man. Yeah, he just fist bumps him. And I love that he just gets back into it, too. It's, yeah. it's not like he's going to be all an emo Spider-Man now. He's just like, no, I'm back into it. All back right, in Gwen, the game. Gwen's dead, who cares? All right. Gwen's <laughs> dead. I got a graduation speech, though, so yeah. I'm motivated. Because you know if fucking uh, Mary Jane died in Spider-Man 2 or 3, he would be like, <laughs> And all the fans would have been like, why? Mary Jane sucks. <laughs> well, okay. To be, to be fair, I don't Peter like doesn't think... Mary Jane sucks. Obviously. Well, there's a reason why <laughs> Superior Spider-Man. A lot of people hope Peter wouldn't come back. Yeah. Well, hopefully Mary Jane is good. Uh, you just don't like the actress, don't you? No, no, no. I don't. It's the, I don't mind the actress. I just don't like the character. I know a lot of people that don't like the actress. Uh, I really, I really don't care about the character. The right? actress, I'm fine with. Well, I mean, and again, I don't remember much about those movies. So if they make. Mary Jane, because she's definitely going to be in either the next movie or the fourth one. Oh, yeah, they have to. She's uh, a huge character after Gwen Stacy. Yeah, so, I mean, they have to put a love interest in there. There's, I mean, they have to. Black Cat. <laughs> but I would like to see Black I would. Cat, I would actually. love to see that, actually. And uh, me and Gerard was discussing this before. I don't know if there's a character named Felicia in the movie. Yeah, Did Harry's you, assistant. I, yeah, who, who, of course, Felicia's the same name as Black Cat. Uh... So I don't know if that's supposed to be maybe a hint at Black Cat or I'm like is, I don't know. is she like Felisa Hardy Black Cat like what's going on here Okay I, I should have probably looked that up before I review but um we probably should have Yeah whatever you look it up everybody So if you got this Google far, is your friend Google is there it was invented just because of this one moment So so you could look up b- Black Black Girl Cat Black Girl uh, Cat <laughs> So anyway you might find something different any other spoilers? I mean, there's really nothing else. There's really nothing. I wanted to say one thing. I loved how it's like Spider-Man has been gone for six months, which is assumed after what happened with Gwen Stacy. Yeah, it's five so, months. Five months. Said. Oh, five months? Yeah. They, well, they, that makes they sense. Said it, they said on the news, it's been five months since uh, Spider-Man last appeared. I thought it was six. Oh, well. Um, but here's the thing. When he was at the, after the funeral, he stayed by the cemetery. Summer, fall, winter, spring. Five months. Yeah, that's five months. Okay, uh, weather is apparently very strange in five months. Well, maybe it was like it was already close to winter, and, I, then, and then winter passed, close, and, then, and then it was very spring. close to winter. Maybe it was already dude. Sun. It was like the end of su- it was like summer when it started. Well, no, fall could look like summer too. I mean, it's not like you know, it's not like and, you could tell it's cold. Fall, it's not like you could tell it's cold by looking at. But the it. leaves were falling in autumn. There was no tree. He was in the city. How could you even see trees? I said was, leaves, not trees. Okay, le- yeah, they okay. were in like a cemetery. Okay. Sure, fine, whatever. But 
fall can still look like summer, is what I'm saying. Because I mean, at the beginning. Never mind. You know what? Anyway, Fuck but <laughs> I would love to see Black Cat like in another movie. Yeah. I would love to see how that would go. Black Cat's not well. In a, Black Cat has never been in a movie before. Exactly. We need a new movie with Black Cat. Yeah. Uh, you mean you need a movie with Black exactly. Cat? Exactly. Thank you for correcting me. I am a dumb butt. He's a dumb butt. So there you go. But you know what I would like better? What? It's just a movie where it's just like a five second film and it's what happens in Superior Spider Man issue 21. Where it's like the cover is Black Cat and Spidey get, like, getting ready to go at it. Oh. And it's literally just Spider Man running up and decking Black Cat in the face and oh. running off. Nice. Like he literally goes up, decks her, she breaks her tooth, and he runs away. Damn. That's it. That's some. Tough and the love. previous comics, they were, they were building up. Next issue, the return of Black Cat. And like building so much up for it. And it's like, oh, done. Done out. Fucking black eye cat. <laughs> yeah. Duck Don't. Dynasty cat. Duck. Sure. She's missing teeth, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, Peter's gonna have to deal with that later on in the series. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think any of the Duck Dynasty guys have missing teeth. I think uh, they're all like rich douchebags that pro- pretend to be rednecks. Probably. So, but, uh, eh, screw that. I ain't gonna get into it. Anyway, there you go. There's Spider Man. Uh, 30 minutes. That's a long shit. review. But wait, whatever. I, I listened to like 40 minute reviews for shit. So, uh, it's an audio review, obviously. I should probably said that earlier. So, uh, you know, By now, you, you probably can, know. You can go do other things while listening to this. You don't need to watch like me. Like Google Gerard. Black Cat. Yeah, you go Google Black Cat. Uh, safe search off. And don't be a pussy. Don't yeah. Don't be a don't be a black cat. <laughs> ah, clever. <laughs> don't be a cat. Don't be a, don't be a vagina. I see uh, you so see you later. That was our review again. Let's just say our reviews again. It was a uh, the whole thing. Let's do it all over again. No, let's just say our scores again. Uh, I gave I gave it a nine out of ten, a thirty six out of forty. I say an eight point five. I might be a nine. I had to which one watch it. No, you have to you have to. I'm right now. Eight point five. Eight point five. Okay. Eight point five for him. Nine for me. Uh. It was great. It's a good way to start the summer, even though I think Captain America really started the summer. But uh, but Captain America doesn't count. That was like in the winter. No, it wasn't. That was April. <laughs> oh, it was. Oh yeah, it was April. I thought it was March. <laughs> you st- silly goose. It feels so long since I last saw the movie. <laughs> All right. So anyway, there you go. Say goodbye, Gerard. Bye. You fucked up. You're supposed to say goodbye, Gerard. You know. What?